speaks us like 0, 0, 1, 0, and 1, 1. I'm putting parentheses around each pixel, but obviously in a storage in a computer you don't have parentheses, they are just a stream of pixels, they are grouped into bytes. So let's go over the example we have here and see how the encoding with uh, the LWZ algorithm works. So it's level zero. If you have a sequence of pixels like this, you are going to build the stream compression by first specifying the number of bits per pixel. Here it's two. So the first byte of your output will be two, right? So you are going to say, this will be the first byte that you output to tell I'm encoding a stream of pixels, each pixel, has two bits. And then you are going to actually start the encoding. And uh, the encoding is, ch is in chunks. Um, each chunk contains a certain set of bytes. You end with a chunk that's empty. So a chunk is length zero, it's empty. So first you are going to leave here a space for the length of the current chunk. <coughs> compressed bits, and then you are going to start encoding them. And as we discussed last time, the uh, lempels uh, wesh algorithm is based on a dictionary compression, which means at the beginning we already have a dictionary. That's assumed. So namely at position zero, you have in the dictionary, you have the pixel color zero, right? At position 1, you have 0, 1. At position 2, it's all binary, right? You have 2. And at position 3, you have 3. No big, no complex issue about this. It's an implicit dictionary where you have an entry for each uh, existing pixel on 2 bits. And then there are two more values that are reserved. Do you remember them? The immediately the next one is for reset. reset. Reset, very good. And the next one is for <coughs> end. Okay? Yeah, thank you. So this is the original um, dictionary. And if you are going to look inside an encoded um, the file, you see that typically the first byte after the length <coughs> is outputting here. So the output will be a one zero one uh, sequence to say that I am uh, sorry one zero zero sequence to say that I am resetting the dictionary. I am setting the starting with this original one in, in case you would concatenate, let's say, uh, frames and you would arrive here not having the dictionary initialized in this way, then it's safe to <coughs> reinitialize the dictionary. But uh, that's probably not a sufficient uh, explanation for doing this, as we'll see later. What will you notice? How many bits do you use for this code? Three bits. Three bits. So already we said that the minimum dictionary size is for two bits codes, but we already start using three bits from the beginning because we already have codes that require more, uh, more than the original mean code. So even if we have two bits, all the outputs that we we'll issue from now on and the dictionaries will have at least three bits, as long as that's sufficient. We may even go to four bits and more if we can fix. Three bits are not sufficient. So we are going to start now Compressing zero zero, we see it. We are going to output the code. What is the code for uh, zero zero? It's zero zero, right? So 
but we'll have to output on 3 bits because now we are in the current mode 3 bits. Okay. And we are going to define an additional dictionary entry because we encountered the sequence 0, 0, 1, 0, which for which we didn't have a dictionary input. So I'm going to start adding new dictionary entries. Here, 110 is a new one. Let's create it for the sequence 0, 0, 1, 0. Okay, next. I'm going to compress 10. 10 zero. Zero has a code 0, 1, 0. And I'm going to <coughs> create a new dictionary input because I was not able to compress more than that. So I'll create the code for 1, 0, and 1, 1. And this will be the code 1, 1, 1. I'm going to the next. And it's interesting to observe that here I output three uh, bits. When I'm going to encode the next entry, you'd expect that all my dictionary entries are on three bits. I could output three bits, right? There's no way I would output more than three bits. There's no diction I could not encode this in any way with more than three bits. Because my dictionary doesn't have entries with more than three bits. Okay? So you'd be tempted to encode this as the one one, zero one one. And would be logical, would be the minimum you can there's no confusion. No no reader, no user of the code would be confused. Still, you see that the standard and the practice has now you put four bits. Yeah, so yeah I'm losing one bit. So I, I think that was a place where they were not optimizing the block. Uh, next, and they are creating the code. Okay, and there's the code here, 1000 zero, 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 of four bits, which will contain the entry 11 one, one and 00. zero. So they switched in the code to four bits, and they already created four bits. Yeah, this is what encoders do. Then we are going to have to encode 0, 0, 1, 1. Uh, we don't yet have it, so again we are going to encode a 0, 0. And um, we are going to create a new entry here for 0, 0. One one. Next, we are encoding a one one, and we already had a one one zero zero. Yes. Should that be four zeros? Yeah. The last output. Yeah, the last output. Yeah, three zeros. Shouldn't that be? Four zeros? Yeah. Yeah. From now on, all the outputs will be on four bits until you go up another one, right? Until we go to five bits. Okay. So, uh, very good. So now I'm seeing 1100, zero, zero, for which I have a code. So I have to output 1000, zero, zero, zero. that's a code for 1100, zero, zero, which we know that stands for 1100. Uh, zero, zero. And the new dictionary is created 1010 zero, one, zero, for the sequence 1100010. Zero, zero, zero. And next, I'm seeing uh, 1010, and I don't have an input for 1010, so I'm going to encode 0, uh, 10 is 0010. So I'm just encoding it on uh, 4 bits instead of 2 bits, and I'm going to specify here. 1010, zero, one, zero, a new dictionary entry for 1010. Zero, one, zero. 